This time I'm going to set up our VLC to play back media files and depending on which system you're using like if you're using Arch you need to install the, um, the Fluid Synth and also the Fluid R3 this is the uh, sound fonts for it and if you're on an app system then uh, you need to install uh, Fluid Synth the VLC plugin here and also the sound font GM here Okay, and uh, after that you need to figured out where the location is at for your sound fonts and to do that depending on um, what system you're on so if you're using like Pac-Man you do something like this Pac-Man and then you you know plug in that package that we installed it um, the Fluid R3 here and then they'll give you this uh, location right and basically all you gotta do is uh, copy this path here and we're gonna insert it into our VLC uh, configurations right uh, if you're on a Debian uh, based system or uh, using DPKG here, so all you gotta do is type this sucker in here and then the package that we installed it uh, from that system. Um, and then you'll figure out that the path will be something like this. And again, all you gotta do, if you wanna do this from the command line, you can use Vim here to go into our VLC uh, configuration files. And basically, they have this, um, what is it, this line here called uh, sound font. And you just paste in that path, um, depending on which system you're at, then you paste that sucker in, and then you save it. That's about it. Okay. Now, if you want to do this from the GUI, you can always do um, what is that VLC here, and you go to Tools, go to Preference, hit All, and you hit um, what is that the in under uh, Input and Codex here. You want to go to Audio Codex, and you go to Fluid Synth. And basically, this is where you paste in the path uh, of where we, you know, we have on our system here that we installed it. And basically, this one is just like I said, uh, the sound fonts, aka the codecs that you would need to play back uh, MIDI files. Otherwise, if you don't have this, or if you don't tell it uh, where it's located at, it's not gonna play it. Okay, you hear no sound at all. And after that, you just hit save, and you're done. Now, if you want to play back, um, uh, you know, you can actually drag and drop any of these media files in here and start playing back, and it'll start playing. Although, I turn off the sound so you guys won't hear nothing. And you can do this with any um, VLC interface. So, that one was the uh, GUI interface, but if you want to do this from uh, the command line, you can always do uh, C VLC if you want to maybe listen just one like say we have this Madonna song here and it will start playing it again you're not gonna hear any sound because I muted it right uh, you can also use it with NVLC so NVLC and we'll do it all um, media files only and there we go this is all the uh, songs that I will play and um, that's how you play back media files and if you want to get more media files it's really not that hard just go hit up your search engine let me see here where's my search engine right just search for media songs and you should be able to get some links in here and then you can go download some songs if you want uh, not that hard just search engine and those should be like the first few hits those are the ones that you want to look at and you can download the songs and the good thing about that with MIDI files, at a time, you know, I, I kind of like uh, not listening to lyrics, just maybe just the beat. And that's what I like about MIDI files. So check it out if you want to listen to MIDI files. That'll be it for this one.